Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to another video. Uh, so you know today we are going to talk about uh, materials inside Revit. Uh, I mean Revit has quite a good collection of materials which we can use for our renders and our components and they're quite acceptable but uh, you know when it comes to professional uh, proposals or uh, you know documents that you send to your clients or your office members or your employees we can even use PBR materials right PBR are physically based materials and they come with a bunch of maps uh, for example this is a PBR material of a red worn sofa leather that I've downloaded and once you unzip it you're going to see all these maps inside uh, your folder so these maps are um, I could say if you've used Photoshop you might know what these maps are but you know they're their layers inside a material. I think that's quite an acceptable explanation. So these maps are layers within the material and once you combine all of these layers you can form that material. That's what a PBR is, physically based materials. So now how do we add these materials inside your Revit? Because uh, you know we usually don't have them. You'd have to import them and create a new material and add one. So I've set up a basic scene and we have two boxes that we are going to compare. I even have my renderer open and uh, as you guys can see we are in a garden and uh, we have a car and a bunch of people. And these are the two boxes that we are going to compare. So in one of the boxes we have uh, uh, the same red leather sofa but it's not a PBR material, it's just a normal one. And I've added uh, you know, the image of it. But in this case, we're going to add a PBR material and then we're going to see what the difference is between both of them. So let's go to manage and uh, let's go to materials. Um, nope, I don't want to save that. And uh, let's go to create new materials, so default new materials. So the first thing we do is we rename it. So it's going to be our P or BR and uh, leather sofa uh, fabric uh, I think these keywords you would have to take care of that because Enscape usually does uh, I mean you know it does process keywords so okay we even have one that's earlier I've made so now PBR leather sofa fabric so let's first delete this this is from my previous one so PBR leather sofa fabric and uh, use render appearance. Then let's go to our appearance. So the first thing you have to do is you have to replace this new material with uh, uh, an asphalt one so that we could import. I mean we can uh, import all the the displacements and everything. Um, asphalt, which is okay. So in this case, uh, make sure you avoid using the materials which has this. Uh, this highlighted tag on the bottom left uh, because even uh, our head says that you do not use these materials instead uh, of this one use something else for improved renders so let's just to use this asphalt dark gray and we will replace that once that is done now we have imported that asphalt material into our new leather material now let's just the first thing we do is we copy these keywords and we copy it into our information tab mm, this information section so control V and control V and control V PBR leather sofa fabric uh, these keywords are important so now uh, you start replacing that let's just uh, open that at the same time so the first thing we do is the image so let's just uh, replace the, the image now the second thing is the roughness map so let's replace the, the roughness map and uh, then the other one is the bump map so we can either use the displacement or the normal let's just use the, the normal and uh, for the advanced highlight controls uh, we can use the AO map and uh, I think that's done. So slowly we have set our uh, PBR material. Now let's go to our bump. Let's uh, click it twice. It's it's gonna lag a bit because we uh, I already have the renderer open. Um, so height map, nope. We have included a normal map. And uh, let's in, uh, in, uh, increase the depth of our normal map, right? So 4.67, fine. 
and uh, at the same time let's go to our image uh, again click it twice and uh, use a link texture transforms let's go to our reference map again let's just uh, uh, click this part which is the link texture transforms so done uh, so now we have set up our PBR material, all right? So that's how you make um, you include PBR materials inside Revit. Uh, make sure you use, use render appearance. So, okay. Now, if we click on this box, this is just an extrusion that I've made. And uh, I've even set up uh, a parameter for the material. So now let's choose the one, the new material that we have made. So it is the PBR leather sofa fabric. So now both of them have the same material but the left one is a PBR one and the right one is just a normal one and now we are going to check out what the difference is. So this is the final result and uh, as you guys can see there, there's quite a, a noticeable difference between both of them. This is the normal one which looks quite uh, dull and uh, in the case of PBR it looks quite realistic. And quite good so as I said PBR materials are made from displacement and different maps all right the roughness and the displacement and you guys uh, you know the surface of this so these are the bumps all right this is what gives that you know that realism and uh, that you know that different touch into your renders that's how you make professional renders because these PBR materials so you know I hope you guys can notice the bumps and uh, so this was a, a sofa leather and in this case it looks extremely dull but in the case of PBR materials it looks quite uh, good let's change uh, the orientation of the sun if we can somehow uh, you know improve our visibility so so these are PBR materials inside Revit in which you can include all these roughness and all these maps and you can achieve you know quite good renders mm, I hope you guys you know you can see the bumps in, in on the surface so which is quite an improvement from this one just check this one out it's, it is so dull and it just it does not look realistic at all but in this case it, it looks uh, quite good um, so this was another short video regarding PBR materials inside uh, Revit. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I hope you learned something from it. Thank you for watching.